Okay, what I'd like to do is show you how to solve um, this logarithm. So first of all, to solve this logarithm, what we need to look at is I need to see, all right, how can I, um, first of all, condense this down, right? Because what you notice right here is I have um, three logarithms. So that's way too many things to be dealing with. So what I want to do is I want to use using my properties of logarithms, condensing it to get this down to at least two logarithms. I can condense these. Remember, whenever you have a log, subtracting another log, you can condense them by, multi by uh, sorry, division and using one log. So I'll have, this can be reduced down to log of x plus eight divided by x equals, and this is, could be two log of nine, but also remember, whenever you have a number in front, all right, you can rewrite that as your exponent. So I'll have log of nine squared. So now what happens is we can use our one-to-one -one property. Whenever you have a log equal to a log, and that's one thing you always want to look at when you're solving logarithms, always look for, see if you can get it a log equal a log or a power equal to a power. Because then you can use your one-to-one -one property to cancel them out. So now I have x plus 8 over x equals 9 squared, which is 81. Well, from here, I have an x on the top and an x on the bottom. So to get rid of my x on the bottom, I'll multiply by x on both sides. Therefore, I have x plus 8 equals 81x. All right. I will subtract now an x, and I'll get 8 equals 80x. Then what I'll do is divide by 80. Okay. And then you can see you can divide the top and the bottom. So therefore, I have x equals 1 tenth. And that's how you solve the logarithm.